Hey, good people. Welcome back to Beauty in the Frizz. My name is Kara. Whether you're new or returning, thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me today. I feel like it has been the longest week. And the crazy thing is, is I have been trying to get this dollhouse palette video up for a minute now. And then one day this week, I lost my iPad in my house. It's a long story, but what a difference a day can make because it just, I could not edit anything. Anyway, I am just gonna do some look inspo with the Blends Bunny Dollhouse palette. So if you wanna see four looks with the palette, keep watching this video. Let me know what you think and if makeup is your therapy and your love, you are trying to make some better decisions for 2022 and you wanna connect with another makeup enthusiast that's trying to do the same thing, definitely consider joining the community because I would love to have you back. All right, let's get started. So the Blends Bunny palette. I did purchase this with my Christmas money. This was the first palette I bought this year, but honestly, I feel like I've already bought a lot of palettes this year. I'm gonna go ahead and be honest. Not really bought, but I've acquired palettes. Some of them have been gifted, so I can't say I bought them all. I've only bought a couple, but it is what it is. I'm, I'm trying here. Now, this palette is the third palette from Blend Bunny Cosmetics. I do have the original Blends palette, which is an all matte rainbow palette. My favorite rainbow palette. She then came out with the Surge palette, which I did not purchase. But when I saw the Dollhouse palette, I really, really liked it, especially because lately I have been into some neutral shades. And also this palette has some shimmers in it. So as you can see my palette, or maybe you can't see, my palette is like <laughs> definitely used. I think I've used this palette about five or six times since I've purchased it. I have four looks in this video, but I have used it outside of it. But this palette is described as a 30 shade glam neutral palette. And here are the beautiful shades. I think this was an important part of her collection because the palettes that have come out have been very, very colorful. Again, the first palette, the Blends palette, was a all matte rainbow palette. And then the Surge palette had a lot of grunginess to it, but there were also some neon shades. And that was the first palette that had shimmers. So this is gonna be for the neutral lovers. And I don't think it's your typical neutral palette because you can get really, really grungy with this palette. Now this palette is- Hi viewers. Huh? I said hi viewers. Oh, August said hi viewers. Wait, let me, don't, don't judge my room. Go ahead, say hi. Hi, viewers. He said hi, viewers. How are you doing today? How are you doing today? Why is your voice deep? Because. Okay, let me just finish I this. Talk, I can't even talk on that. Okay, I just want, I wanted to try to have this up today. Oh, coming up. I was just gonna say. Oh yeah, shimmers. I don't remember what I was gonna say, y'all. August. <laughs> this palette is $45. Blend Bunny Cosmetics is vegan and cruelty free and this palette is made in China. It has a shelf life of 24 months. Now what I'm gonna do is insert some pictures of the swatches. So as you can see, there are two rows of shimmers and then we have some kind of graduating shades from the transition to the deepening and the smoke shades. So I love the way she sets up her palettes. If you follow Blend Bunny Cosmetics on Instagram, you will see that she has some posts where she has actually labeled all three of her palettes so that you can know which shades are transition shades, which shades are the, the crease shades, and which ones are like the smoke out deep shades. Now again, that's just a guide. You can use any shade however you want, but I think that Maggie, the owner, wants to make it very easy for anyone to use, whether you're a novice or a pro. So I really love that about this palette. All right, so without further ado, hopefully I have inserted the swatches and I'm gonna get into four looks. Now, I did three of these looks before I got my feedback from you guys and I'll be honest, like on my break at work today, I tried to do a voiceover for the first three looks, but I don't know, it just sounded kind of muffled. So I'm gonna have to kind of figure that part out. I didn't like how it sounded. I'm gonna do the first three looks to music. I'm gonna talk through the last look and then I will be back to sum up how I feel about the palette because I, I just have an overall feeling about this entire palette. So I will see y'all in a few minutes. So let's get into the looks. Tell me that you don't want to leave 
just yet No, my eyes agree It's almost like when we first met Oh, I don't care, it's getting too late I want you and I can't wait Don't wanna spend a minute without you I know you feel the same So come on, give me love I'ma show you how to move, how to move with my body Come hit me with your touch And make me wanna say Damn And yeah, you know what's up Ain't nothing I won't do, I won't do for your body So give me all you got right now I know I'm yours, baby So come give me love You know you're mine, baby So come give me love I never felt nothing quite like this I get a high every time we kiss Can't get enough, baby So come give me love When I'm with you, my legs go weak, hey. Can you hear it? I think my heart just skipped a beat, yeah. This feeling is getting so strong Love me till the morning, love me all night long There's something special about you You're the one that I want So come on, give me love I'ma show you how to move, how to move with my body Come hit me with your touch And make me wanna say So give me all you got right now I know I'm yours, baby So come give me love You know you're my baby So come give me love I never felt nothing quite like this I get a high every time we kiss Can't get enough, baby So come give me love All of your love Won't you love me too? Best thing that has 
what you can do Make a move The way my hands feel on your body The way we're dancing in the dark With every move I make you're falling you guys so we're doing another look with the dollhouse palette now I have really spaced out how often I've used this palette so I'm trying to figure out what looks I've done already but I think I'm gonna go with a cool tone look I think I'm gonna go into this column here so let me show you looking at this column right here I think that's where I'm gonna stay mostly for this look I'm gonna start off with this dose of colors fluffy brush I don't know where I got this brush from but it's just a good brush for the transition and i'm gonna go in to the shade done. you're done i'm gonna go into the shade pose and i'm just gonna use that to kind of set down my primer I'm not doing too much with that my real transition shade is going to be the shade vintage hi august and so i always do my videos in the morning put your shoes on you're like What's wrong? I'm late. You're not gonna be late. We go through. We keep going through this lately. No, school hasn't even started. Cause I'm still here. I'm just doing that to set it down. That's not really what I'm the color. And let's go into the shade vintage. These are showing up kind of orangey on camera. Let me see if I can take the white out. You don't need it. Your sweater's right here. Right there. And it's gonna be like, it's 63 degrees today. You can put it on, you don't have to. I want to. Okay. Do you need help? Okay. You look very handsome today. You're quite welcome. I'm gonna come walk you out. Um, I gave granddad your mask too. Can I get a kiss? I love you. You're my best friend. I'm coming to walk you out. I don't wish I wore this lipstick. I'm gonna take this lipstick off. It's, it's too warm, I think, for this look. Oh, good job, August. Yes, cause that boy need his asthma, asthma puffs. So yeah, I am gonna change this lipstick um, to a cooler toned lip. All right, I'm gonna walk you out. Your head hurts. Okay, I'm back. I don't know if I like this lip either, but let's just focus on the look. So I'm using the shade Vintage as the main transition shade. All right, okay, let's skip the outer corner shade and let's go into the shimmer. Let's go into the shade Dress Up right here and i'm gonna put that all over the lid i am loving these shimmers i'm loving just how smooth they are like you don't really have to worry about any fallout with these and i'm going to just leave this little area open here just for something a bit lighter here's what we're working with now i'm going to take a crease brush this one is by bristles beauty and i'm going to go into the shade silhouette so it's not quite black it's actually a brown it's like a really deep, like a brown black, I think. And let's see, I'm just gonna start it in the crease and bring it up and over. So 
already see right there that's too much for what I'm going for. So I'm just taking my first brush and trying to blend it into the transition. So I'm probably gonna come back with the shade to blend that out shortly. But you definitely don't need a lot. Like these mattes are super pigmented and I really am not putting much on my brush. But that's also good to know. Like same type of consistency as the original palette. And I'm just diffusing it out again with my first brush. And I might not need a blend out shade, but we'll see. Might just try to get something to soften it up. I don't like this lipstick with this now, so <laughs> I'm gonna be changing it again. What time is it? Oh my God, okay. Let's just go into Pose, which was my base shade, just to blend this out a little bit and make it softer around the corners, hopefully. Yeah, I think that's gonna help it a bit. It just helps to diffuse that out a little bit. Just gonna do the same thing on this side. Okay, I like how that looks now. All right, back in business. We're gonna go into the shade Attic. Attic, I think, will be a nice cool shade to go with this. And cool tones are not like my forte, so I'm always um, trying to work with these types of tones to make them look right on me, you know, what I feel looks right for me. I'm just gonna take a crease brush with the shade Attic and just go under here really lightly with the shade Attic. It's like 63 degrees right now. And my principal just sent an email like, take the kids out for extra recess. I'm like, you don't have to say a word. We might be going out at 930 because all the other classes are out like on different shifts until like two o'clock. And two o'clock we have like art or no, it's today, Wednesday. They have gym and the music, so. That's not gonna work. So 9.30 is gonna be the time. Okay, I like that. Mm-hmm. And then I'm gonna go into Vintage. And with Vintage, I'm going to also go under the lower lash line. I'm gonna start with the inner corner just to connect that. All right, like that. Okay, I wanna get into another shimmer. So, hmm. That's a bit warm. This is kind of an inner corner highlight. I'm thinking it's gonna be the shade Tool. So I am, oh wait a minute, hold on. Let me look at these shimmers at the bottom. That's pretty. I'm thinking Little Sister or Tool. Let's see. I th think I'm gonna do Little Sister. Let's do Little Sister. Oh, I don't have any setting spray available. I'm taking a packing brush from BH Cosmetics. There's Little Sister. Let's see how this blends. I'm not gonna be using a whole lot of this shade, but I'm just merging it with Dress Up, which was that deep plummy shimmer. I think that looks nice. Let me know if y'all have tried Glam Light because these shimmers remind me a bit of the Glam Light shimmers. Ooh, and the Beauty Bay shimmers where you can kind of press them in. Maybe I am going over Dress Up because I really like this. Ooh, that's pretty. I'm gonna put a little more on the side just so it matches. This is a really pretty shimmer. Oh, pink shimmer. Okay. All right, I'm liking this a bit more. This isn't my favorite look. I didn't have any direction planned with this, and that's okay. All right, now let's go into tool. Maybe pretend. Let's do pretend. That's this shade right here. And again, I'm using this dry. But I like that for the inner corner highlight. Because these are kind of like that putty, I just feel like there isn't much fallout, which is nice. Because I always do my face first. And there is the look, y'all. All right, I'm gonna grab a liner, mascara, and try to figure out a lipstick, and I'll be right back. All right, you guys, here's the final look. <laughs> I found a lipstick that I'm kind of happy with today. I took my hair down because it was just not doing what I wanted it to do anymore. All right, here it is. Well, let me show you my earrings too while I show you this look. All right, here's the look. Oh, it's pretty cool. You know what I'm saying? It's nothing really spectacular. My mom gave me these chrysalis earrings. 
Aren't these so pretty? I don't know if y'all can see them. They're so pretty. Yeah, they're so cute. Have the Bad Gal Bang Mascara and a brown liner by ColourPop. And the lipstick I decided to go with is a Tom Ford lipstick in the shade Joe. And there it is. It's kind of giving me like concealer lips and I'm fine with that because the other stuff just wasn't it wasn't doing what I needed it to do. So there's the look. I really like it. I think I zoomed in one more time. So yes, y'all. Now, I'll be honest, I'm not sure where this is gonna be in the video, so I might be coming to wrap up. I might be doing another look, but whatever I'm doing, let's get to it right now. All right, you guys. So I do hope that you enjoyed all four looks with this palette. I definitely did. As far as what I created with the looks, I love all four looks. I just think this is such a great palette. First, let me talk about the shimmers. The shimmers were great. I didn't have any issues with fallout. They are the types of shimmers that you can kind of press in. And because of that, they remind me of my Glam Light shimmers and my shimmers from the two Beauty Bay palettes that I have. Very, very similar formulas. Didn't have any issues with fallout. Didn't have to wet them. You can if you want, but I just thought the shimmers looked really nice on the lid. They were not flaky, they were very smooth, and I really had a good time using them. I also like the variety of shimmers that are in this palette. I, I love all of the shades in this palette because these bottom rows especially were my favorites because as you can see, these are your smoke out shades, but they're all like varying shades of one color. Like we have a, ver a brown, there's a purple, there's a like a black, there's a really deep brown, there's a deep plum, and there's a very deep brown green. And I think that is so neat about this palette. I also like that these shades, I love how these shades showed up. I do need to watch some reviews on how this particular row showed up on deeper skin tones. That's the only questionable row. For me, it showed up fine but that's the only row I would be concerned about. I love the shimmers at the top and I love this third row too. There really isn't one bad thing that I have to say about this palette and I think it's definitely gonna be a staple for the blends collection because it's so different than the others. I also wanted to say that as far as the matte shades, they are the same awesome quality as the original blends palette. So I definitely would not hesitate to purchase any other palettes from the blends brands as long as I like the color story. You know what I mean? I really, really like this palette a lot. And because I have this, I don't think I need, not saying I wanted it, but I just watched Charlotte Holcroft review the Hindash palette, the new one. And I was gonna call it the bromance palette, but that's not what it's called. It's like monochromance, I think. I, I feel as though because I have this palette, I don't need something like that. I am interested in trying Hindash, but these two color stories that he's come out with so far are just not really up my alley. And this latter palette did look more appealing to me, but just the shimmer and the matte, and just the fact that I have all of these grungy options in case I want to go in that, that, in that way that I have that, I love this. And recently I have said that, you know, I'm not really into these large palettes, but there's a couple exceptions to that. I do like the Norvina palettes, and I do like my blends palette and I was really happy to add this one to my collection. So just wanted to share that. I also wanted to add that in the first look, I did use the brush set from this brand and those brushes are staple brushes in my collection. So if you were curious about those brushes, I don't have a, a review on them, but I use them all of the time and I really, really like them. So I just wanted to mention that in case you were interested. So that's all I have for this video today, you guys. Thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me. Again, it's weird. I feel like it's been such a long week and I do try to have a video up on Tuesday or Wednesday, but these progress reports and school this week, school has been great this week, by the way, you guys, my kids and I have come to just a, we've just come to such a great place in our academic 
year, this year. We're just at that happy place. So I'm so glad that I did take some time this week to stop and think about just what they need and just love on them a little bit and just, you know what I mean? Just reflect a bit. So I hope this was a therapy for you because it always is for me. So until I see you again, make sure you are being gentle with yourself. Talk to yourself nice, stay safe, and I will see y'all really soon. Bye. Oh, block your ears.